I told you guys, every week, somebody's going to have some story about how this sale is imminent because that's what's keeping this stock price up, the idea that this thing is going to be sold. And as soon as it kind of starts to cool off, you're going to have another story. And then, and then, you know, I, I feel like a month ago, you know, somebody said, well, you know, uh, they're not going to talk about it anymore. They're just going to get it done. That's great. But, like, I hear about it every week now. There's a new story. CNBC this time. Analyst David Faber. He delved into the talks about the sale of the company. He said, the sale process isn't just live, but is going quite well. I am hearing from people close to the situation, he said, that it's a pretty good sales process with some saying it's hot and heavy. He added that he has spoken with some who were doubtful a deal would get done. They are less so now. Part of the doubt was due to Vince McMahon's reluctance, reluctance to step aside if a sale was made. Something Nick Khan said on CNBC in a recent investor's call that he would indeed be open to. Faber said we could all take our educated guess on who the potential buyers would be, mentioning Endeavor, a private equity interest, quote, perhaps in partnership with a well-known name in the sport, Saudi Arabia's public investment fund, and perhaps Colorado investment firm Liberty Media. He reiterated his previous reporting that NBC Universal are not a part of the sale process. The news comes as WWE is in the media spotlight ahead of this weekend's WrestleMania 39 in Los Angeles. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Well, hot and heavy. He also, he All sorts also, of people interested. Also made sure to point out, and for anybody interested, you can go to my Twitter. I retweeted the squawk on the street segment from earlier on today where Faber discusses this, and he says basically it comes down to what is the real willingness of Vince McMahon to sell this company? And just like you say, I believe that this is, we've heard with Endeavor a lot of reasons why it would be very difficult for them to do what they're doing. Liberty Media, I thought that one would make some sense if it was a somebody other than the Saudis who would be interested in partnering with Vince McMahon here. But this was a good segment if you're a WWE supporter because you had Jim Cramer who was sitting there, as you'll hear during this segment, who is bringing up Disney and he is just gushing over the market research that WWE does. And I know people there, what an operation. So for a lot of people who, again, don't know what WWE is about, and, and there are a lot of people like that, they got that stock to $91 or whatever it is right now. They don't know what the business is. They just know it's a valuable company that they're investing in. So if you're looking at it that way, if you really didn't know any better, and you're sitting there like looking at it, man, should I should I jump into this? You know, they made it sound very, very appealing. Loading up on some liquid energy here. Uncle Howdy. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? <laughs> That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. Why does he do that? Me to explain Uncle Howdy. Yes. Someone needs to put that to music, some 70s song, for the best of the Brian and Vinny show. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. We're going to get kicked off whatever run. You just disgusted Granny. That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. What a jamming song that is. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.